Hello guys, Quentin Tackett on Sonic and OK KO for next one 21 here again. Welcome to another video and here to bring you the 2021 edition of the Dell Dimension 4600 running Windows XP Home Edition. Yep, we're here to start off a new edition of the walkthrough of the Dell Dimension 4600 running Windows XP Home Edition. Now, I'm very worried about my throat, so I'm talking like this in a deep voice. So, yeah, I just my throat could get sore in a few days. Very worried about that, but I'm trying my best to moisten my throat with apple juice and ice water, so that's that's what I'm going to be doing somehow, so, but anyway, with that being said, I mean, I'll still be talking, but anyway, for those of you guys who are new to this, I mean, for those of you guys who've watched my previous versions of the Dell Dimension 4600 running Windows XP Home Edition walkthrough, you already understand that, but... For those of you who haven't watched this yet, for those of you who haven't watched any of the older editions of the Dell Dimension 4600 walkthrough, well, if you're new here, I'll show you guys. So, this is the Dell Dimension 4600. You see it has, this is the power button right here. This is the DVD-ROM drive. This is the Dell logo. This is where the headphone jack comes in. There's two USB ports right here. There's the Intel logo, but... And there, there was a Windows XP logo, but that's taken off for some reason. Your speakers right here. You can turn it on or off. And there's a volume dial right here on the right speaker. And this is the monitor right here. We originally had a Dell monitor, but as you can see, that Dell monitor is gone now. It's already thrown away. It's, it's gone forever because it's broken now. So this is this was replaced with this. ViewSonic monitor, and here we have a Dell keyboard right here. Still works, and you know this Dell mouse right here, and right here on the back. I think this is where you could plug in the keyboard, mouse, and even like your aux cord as well. So that way you could try to record from the record player or cassette or CD player to the computer. But anyway, I, I think that's all there is to it about the, the computer, so let's just start the walkthrough. Here we go. Let's turn the computer on. Turn the speakers on. Here's the startup screen right there. Turn the caps lock on just in case. Just to let you guys know, for some reason, the computer unfortunately got unplugged for some reason at one time. And the time got changed again, so unfortunately, it got the date and time got changed again. So there's got to be a time I've got to like change the time and date again. So, you know, that would be a time where I could play some, you know, Super Collapse 3 on there. But we got to log on to, to my account, so let's go. We're going to do it to like start off with, start off the walkthrough with, you know, the Windows XP Tour. As you can see, I finally got the desktop background changed because the previous time when I had the computer on, I had a background of the backyard again. But anyway, so yeah, I think this is like the original screen for the Dell computer, I think. I think it might be. So, I mean, I'm not sure if all Dell computers had this before going onto the welcome screen, but then again... It's, it's a Dell computer with Windows XP on it. What more could you expect? Now, I've got to wait for the start menu to appear so that way I can go on to the Windows XP tour to show you all. So, I'll be right back after this comes up. After I come back. Okay, I'm back now. I just had to come back after, after our bathroom break. But anyway, we're back. And now, I'm going to start up the Windows XP tour. Yes, it still works as I tested it. So... I thought it, I know it's part of Flash, but it's not Adobe Flash related, so the tour still works on this computer, so. But, again, we're going to have the lights off for the tour. Oh, before, okay, turn it up back on for a minute, so I can tell you the sponsors for this video. So this part of the walkthrough was sponsored by these two Backyard Against DVDs, It's Great to Be a Ghost, and Cave Party. So, let's just, let's just turn the lights off get the tour started up 
play the animated tour. It features text, animation, music, and voice narration. But so for this part of the tour, we're gonna have like, you know, the Windows XP Basics and safe and easy personal computing. So let's just start the tour, shall we? All right. Here we go. Enjoy the tour, everyone. Welcome to Windows XP from Microsoft, the new version of Windows that brings your PC to life. Experience the best. Experience Windows XP. See for yourself how easy Windows XP is to use. Take this brief tour. Safe and easy personal computing. Thanks to Windows XP, Personal computing just got a whole lot easier and more fun. Unlock the world of digital media. Windows XP is your ticket to exciting digital media at home and on the internet. The connected home and office. Get connected. Windows XP makes it easy to share and link computers. To begin the tour, click any selection. Friendly new screens, simplified menus, and a whole lot more. Discover Windows XP's fresh, streamlined design. Get acquainted with key tasks and basic commands. The Windows Desktop. Using Windows XP is simple. First, you'll see the large colored area on the screen called the desktop, and the narrow band at the bottom called the taskbar. Everything you can do on your computer appears inside frames that are called windows. You can open as many windows at one time as you like and resize them, move them around, or restack them in any order. Icons. The small pictures you see on the desktop are called icons. Think of them as doorways to the files and programs stored on your computer. Place your mouse over an icon. Text appears identifying its name or contents. To open the file or program, double-click the icon. Shortcut icons, identified by the small arrow on the lower left, let you access programs, files, folders, disk drives, web pages, printers, even other computers. And because desktop shortcuts simply supply links to those files or devices, you can add and delete their icons without affecting the actual programs or files. The first time you start Windows XP, you'll see only one icon, the Recycle Bin, where you can send files you wish to delete from your computer. Taskbar. Every time you open a window, a button representing it appears on the taskbar, and it disappears when you close a window. The taskbar also contains the Start button and Notification area, where you'll see the clock. Other buttons can appear temporarily, showing the status of ongoing activities. For instance, the printer button appears when you send a file to the printer and disappears when printing is complete. You'll also be reminded here when new Windows updates are available to download from the Microsoft website. Windows XP keeps the taskbar tidy by consolidating buttons when too many accumulate. For example, Buttons representing individual emails are automatically grouped under a single email button. Clicking the button lets you select an email from a convenient menu. Start menu. The start menu appeared automatically the first time you ran Windows XP. You can return to the start menu anytime by clicking the start button on the taskbar. The start menu contains everything you need to begin using Windows. You can start programs, open files, customize your system, get help, search for items on your computer, and more. Some commands on the start menu have a right-facing arrow. That means additional choices are available on a secondary menu. Place your pointer over an item with an arrow, and another menu appears. The left side of the start menu updates with links to the programs you use most frequently. At the top left are fixed items, shortcuts to things like your internet browser and email program, files and folders. Your computer is like a desk with file drawers. Each... Are you freaking kidding me, guys? This is not good. Guys, I'm very, very sorry to say, but the freaking computer turned off on me. I'll tell you the reason. It's because... It's because this thing originally switched to off. So I switched the thing back to reset. 
So I, I don't know what's going on with this thing, but I don't know what's going on. The computer it still works. Good thing the computer did not have a single blue screen of death because this computer never even got a single blue screen of death at all. Which, that's a good thing, and I'm very glad it did not have that, so that's that's a good thing. So, I mean, I had this computer for like 17 years, and it never, never had a single blue screen of death at all. It still works like a charm, although it's pretty slow sometimes. I don't know why, but we got to get back to the tour, so let's go back to it right now. Okay, we're back. We just got to freaking get through the rest of the Windows XP basics and then the after tour, that we'll go on to selection. oh we need to, I forgot to turn the lights off so we still have to like finish up the Windows XP basics and then after that we'll get to the safe and easy personal computing so let's let's just finish it up let's go why is it so slow oh my god friendly new screens simple files and folders your computer is like a desk with file drawers each piece of work or file can be stored in a folder. Windows XP makes it easy to store files where they make the most sense. Place text, image, and music files in the folders titled My Documents, My Pictures, and My Music. They also offer convenient links to the tasks you'll perform most often. Windows. Windows display the contents of files and programs. Working with Windows is easy when you know the basics. The name of the window appears at the top in its title bar. Minimize a window to shrink it to a button on the taskbar. Maximize a window to fill the screen. Or restore it to its original size. Inside a window, browse the menus to see the different commands and tools you can use. When you find the command you want, just click it. If a program needs some information from you before it can complete a command, a dialog box appears. To enter information, you might click and type, select a choice in a list, choose just one option, or check off one or more options that you want. If the contents of your file don't fit in the window in one glance, simply scroll the window to move the contents up, down, or sideways, or drag the contents into view. Control Panel Customizing your computer settings is simple with the Windows XP control panel. Just open it from the start menu. Here's where you can change the way Windows XP looks and acts. Add and remove programs or hardware devices, set up network connections, user accounts, and more. Ending your session. When you want to interrupt your Windows session and let someone else use the computer, go to the start menu. That's where you can log off and switch users and Windows XP will be ready to welcome a different user. When everyone's finished, you can turn off the computer. The next time you log on, the welcome screen will be the first you'll see. Just click your name, type your password if you have one, and you'll be back at the Windows desktop. Windows XP makes personal computing easy and enjoyable. Power, performance, a bright new look, and plenty of help when you need it. It's all here, along with unmatched dependability and security. Faster, smarter, safer. Windows XP packs the punch you need for top performance and enjoyment. You get all the power and dependability of Microsoft's most advanced operating system technology. And to ensure your version of Windows XP is always the very latest, automatic updates are available at your command from the Microsoft website. Windows XP delivers greater dependability and increased efficiency. Windows XP works harder, so you can work smarter. Easier to learn and use. Windows XP brings a brand new visual style to your computer. Friendly, fresh, and streamlined. Cleaner lines, richer colors, smarter organization. Easier ways to get where you want to go and do what you want to do. The simplified start menu automatically puts your most frequently used programs in plain view, never more than one click away. The updated taskbar organizes files on the fly. An automatic cleanup wizard keeps everything on the desktop neat and tidy. Better help for every task. Windows XP's all-new Help and Support Center is your one-stop shop for clear how-to instructions engaging start-to-finish articles, troubleshooting advice, 
free product updates and more. Find out everything you want to know about Windows XP and your computer. Should you ever need it, you can allow a support professional or a knowledgeable friend to view your screen and fix a problem for you. Special wizards give you instructions to smooth the way when connecting new devices and running new software. Delete an important file, download a program you wish you hadn't, Use Windows XP's improved System Restore to turn back the clock and restore your system to the way it was before. Okay, so that's it. So, but before I go, I let's just turn the lights back on. So, anyway, we gotta shut down this computer because it's time to stop. It's time to stop this now. So we're gonna that's where we're gonna stop for part. We're gonna end part one now. So. Let's just hope this computer never turns off by itself again because of this freaking thing. But anyway, let's just let's just let's just turn off this baby. We'll continue on with the rest of the tour in the next part. Maybe tomorrow, who knows. We'll just probably think of doing that tomorrow anyway. So let's just let's just turn this let's just turn this little baby off. Okay. So let's just hope that this computer does not turn off because of this thing ever again. We don't want this thing to switch to off anymore because it might it might change the time and date again and I don't want that to happen. So like all this stuff's plugged in and I I just don't know what's going on with it. Alright, here's the shutdown sound for Windows XP. That sound gives me very big nostalgia right here. It really does. Let's turn this guy off. Turn these speakers off right there. That's going to do it for part one of the 2021 edition of Windows XP on the Dell Dimension 4600 walkthrough. Stay tuned next time for part two. This is Colton Tackett on Sonic and OKKO OK Fanatic 2021 signing off. Peace out, y'all. See you in the next video.